Hey everybody, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Friday. Hope you like the Maldives episode. Alright, so before we jump into this, you know this is the part where I kind of fix some things that I made mistakes on, or stuff that I didn't talk about in the video. For one, at the 8 minute 32 mark, oh my gosh, I accidentally used the Comoros flag instead of the Maldives flag. Whoa, that was a huge mistake, sorry. And also a few things that I wanted to mention in the video but didn't have time to. A lot of the airports in the Maldives, actually, it's really cool, they have like a separate terminal for seaplanes. And also, to combat coral bleaching, they actually have coral growing foam farms in the Maldives. It's kind of like an environmental revival project thing that's going on right now on a lot of atolls. And it's really cool. It's it's all underwater and they kind of grow coral. But yeah, there's a lot of other things I could have talked about. If you know of anything, please put it in the comments. Otherwise, we got to move on to the flag. So without further ado... <laughs> One quick little side note, some of you guys have been asking, Barbs, why do you put so many guest stars on the show? I miss the old days when it was just you. Well, first of all, <laughs> thank you, I guess. But, you know, I like to think of it, I like to do kind of like what Niga Higa does with his channel. You know, I love doing my work, but I also love my friends, so I like to put the two together. I mean, in the early days, I used to just kind of like do all the skits myself, but I would just like cut frame to myself at a different angle or wearing a different shirt. You know, that's fun, but it's kind of time consuming. It's a lot easier and a lot more fun when I have another person just joining along for the ride. Anyway, enough on that. Let's move on to the flag. The flag of the Maldives is a green banner with a red border, and the center of the flag bears a white vertical crescent. The green rectangle in the center symbolizes the peace and prosperity of the nation. The white crescent moon symbolizes the Islamic faith. And the red stands for... Yeah, you were waiting for that, weren't you? Once again, thank you, Ken, for making that animation. Yeah, no, I had fun making it. It was pretty cool. Ken, you successfully avoided getting fired one more week. In appreciation, I will give you a raise. <gasps> I will raise your cage up a few inches from the dungeon so you can get some sunlight from the window. That's even better. Hey, so, uh, are we going to do the uh, fan mail yet? Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. we're going to get to that. All right, both yeah. of you, both of you. Fan, fan oh, yeah. Keep in mind, the country has also used quite a few other flags in the past, especially prior to the 50s when they were under a sultanate, as opposed to being the republic that they are today. There was also a time when they just used a flag that was full red. But yeah, anyway, time to move on. The coat of arms, which is not a coat of arms, it is an emblem. The emblem depicts a coconut palm, representing the livelihood of the nation, as it is said to be the most beneficial tree, providing everything from medicine to food to boat building. The crescent and star obviously stand for Islam, the state religion. Flanked on either side of the palm are two miniature Maldivian flags, and at the bottom, a scroll with words written in the Arabic Nashk style script, reading Al Dalat Amah Mahaldibia, which means the state of the Mahaldibia, which is the name Ibn Battuta and other medieval Arab travelers used to refer to the Maldives. Uh, according to my research, the words on the scroll were given by this guy, Muhammad Takuru Fanu al Auzam. He was a former sultan that fought against the Portuguese and he's seen as like a national hero. Otherwise, yeah, that was, uh, that's just about it. That was pretty short. You know what time it is? Geography fan mail time. All right, so here we go again. You guys know them, Mr. Keith. And Mr. Ken. And Ken. Do you know how we start these things? Postcards. Hadid from Finland, uh, who went to South Africa, Cape Town. Jens, who visited Cyprus. Daniel, thanks for the postcard. Mackinac Island. Taylor, who's actually camping out in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, interesting, we actually got two people who sent cards from Malta. Leonardo and Nadine and Ethan. What's Th their This name? is just amazing. We got, a, we got a postcard from North Korea. Fellow subscriber who's from New Zealand and his name is uh, Plaban. Nat, thank you so much. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Bennett and Johnny sent this from Cincinnati and it's the corner. Palace. Oh, actually, Ken, you got a postcard. Yeah, wow, thanks. In Turku, Finland. Okay, cool. Thank you from Patricia. Woo! Jens, who visited the Azores. England postcard from Michael. So we got this postcard from Bird Hill, Ireland. And to finish it off, we got a really cool card from the Kaliningrad Oblast from Russia, the one that's an exclave apart from the country. Unfortunately, <laughs> the Russian post office put all these stickers on the front of the postcard so you could barely see what the image even shows. Ah, Russian post office, why do you gotta do that? All right, let's open some packages and letters. Woo! We got a package from the UK. The t-shirts and clothes are for you and Ken. <laughs> Still not fired. Stay cool, stay Stay tuned. Let's wear these. Let's right wear now. the shirt right now. Yeah. yeah. Actually, Keith, I have a uh, straight out of Niue shirt. Maybe oh my gosh. <laughs> straight out of Niue. Nice. Well, thank you for the shirts, Michael from the UK. Yes. Uh, this is from Malta. Daniela and Alicia, they both drew me. Maltese snacks. You do really good. Yeah. Send me 
A, a box full of these, please, if you have the chance. <laughs> this is uh, from Ariz from Canada. Oh, Canada. Your mom is from Tanzania and your dad is from Kenya. Oh, that's cool. Okay. You sent all these banknotes from all these countries that you've collected. Here's one from North Korea. The Nigeria. Nigeria. Someone just bought something! That sound means someone bought something off of GeographyNow.com. Feel free to check it out if you want to get some merch that you guys asked for. The notepads and the pins. All right. Link down below. From William. Dallas, Texas. The like historic banknotes from Texas. I didn't even know Texas it's, was its own country. Yeah, it's not real. Yeah, a long time ago, for those of you who don't know American history, Texas used to be its own country and they used to have their own currency. Dwight from New Mexico. Dwight actually wrote this book, The Art of Pun, and he actually mentions the channel on page 21. Well, believe it or not, this YouTube channel actually is really interesting. How does the show's host Paul B do this? Humor. Thank you, Dwight. Dwight. Wow, you put us in your book. I know, that's pretty cool. Elijah sent this from South Korea. The South Korean flag and uh, unified Korea flag. They had this in the Winter Olympics. Fun fact, my grandfather was in the uh, Korean War. My mom was too. Hey. That's how my parents were born. And I live in Koreatown. That we're all Korean, kind Yay! of. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got a package from Arizona by the guy of Alex. And we also got... Cactus candy. You guys should you want split to try this? Yeah, yeah. try it. What do you think of cactus candy? Would eat again. Yeah, definitely. 10 out of 10, would eat again. We got this package from uh, Tempe, Arizona. A lot of Arizona people today. Uh, yeah. Francisco? Uh, what? Francisco, whatever you sent us, it got pretty damaged and crushed in the bag. I'm sorry. I got you some traditional coyotas from my hometown. Want to try it? Check it out. This is actually really good. Gabriel in New Jersey. Malaysia? Malaysia. Malaysia. <laughs> he is part Malaysian. I got a letter from Rich. Uh, from Louisiana. Bayou country. Bayou. Oh, he wrote in both English and French. I'm gonna try to do it in a, in a Cajun accent. I'm very bad at it, but let me try. So he says, uh, Bonjour, Bobby. Je m'appelle Ricky et je viens de Louisiana. La première vidéo que j'ai regardé sur votre chaîne était l'épisode uh, de Belize. If I have any fans in Malta that would love to send me something, send me these. <laughs> I, I think he really likes it. <laughs> really like uh, from This is from Sor from Turkey and I guess he's some Danish dude who married some Turkish lady and <laughs> ended up falling in love. Oh, they visited a country called Mauritius. Mmm, that sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, oh, he's an airline pilot. Oh, sick. Nice. That's so weird. He's His favorite episode is Germany, but he's Danish. You don't like the Danish episode? I'm just saying. Ooh. Ooh. Isaiah from India. He's from Kerala, which he says produces most of the spices from India. Woo! Isaiah from India. We got a package from Brazil. Whoa. Brazil! Brazil! Brazil. Oh. through the band, through the bone. Through the bone. We got multiple things. The Brazilian flag. Woo. We also got a Brazilian t-shirt. Awesome. What size is it? Is it fit you? Is it you? It's a medium. medium. Oh, okay, I, I gotta keep that one. All right, so fun fact about me, my great grandmother immigrated from Brazil in the 1930s. <sighs> Felipe is from the capital of Brazil, Brasilia. Obrigado para toda. Much love from Brazil. We love Brazil. Obrigado. Oh, Brazil. Oh. Sugay, thank you for sending this uh, welcome pamphlet to Belarus. Belarus is uh, really trying to work on their tourism industry after they finished uh, changing up those visa laws last year. This is from Franklin, Massachusetts. Sweet. I, uh, I actually went to school in Massachusetts. I went to Berkeley College of Music in Boston, Mass. Whoa! Remington Middle School drew this cool banner. Whoa! All the kids just like wrote little stuff and uh, uh. That's so cool. Thanks a lot, Remington thank Middle you, School. Thank you. We got a a package from Brayden. What is this? Whoa, this looks sick. I got it from Bali. Oh, he from that's, Bali. A, that's from Bali. Sweet. So many shirts today. So like, yeah, wow. I love shirts. Okay, so we got this package here. Rockville, Maryland from William and he sends us. Oh snap! Oh, you sent a model plane? No way! <laughs> yeah. oh, it says, I thought I, instead of sending you a Mexican flag, I thought it'd be unique to send you the Mexican flagship airline, Aero Mexico. I'm actually, I'm gonna build this. Uh, this is sent from Belgium. I'm sorry, but your package got pretty damaged and messed up in the mail. Okay, wow, a lot of stuff. They're a Russian couple from Belgium. Alexandra and Alex. Oh, you guys have sent us stuff before. Okay. Belgian beer. Oh, Belgian beer. Unfortunately, one of your beer bottles broke. Please be very careful with your packaging. There's glass all over. Two of the bottles made it through. Yes. So thank you. Oh, a lot of flags. Belgian flag. Real Belgian chocolates. Well, Keith, how would you like a Belgian chocolate? Hold on, let me fly out of Belgium real quick. <laughs> Scoop up some chocolate. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> 
<laughs> Spatial delivery. <laughs> in my mouth. Oh my god, Keith is the best. Uh, Alright guys, so that's just about it. Oh my gosh, my living room is such a mess. But anyway, it's time for return address contest. Well, you know the deal. Basically, I put all your return addresses in this bag. And today, we're gonna do two of them because there's two guest stars. Uh, the winner will get a scratch-off map provided from us, from Geography Federico. He sells them on his website. Go to this link right here. It'll also be in the description. Each of you will pick a winner and we will send these out. You Ready? go first. Keith, you go first. All you right. Go. Keith, who do we got? All right, we got Bart from Poland. <laughs> Yay. Congratulations, Yay. you won a new car. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ken, cool. you're next. All right. Check one out. Feel this one out. Uh, it is this one. Nicholas from Colombia. Dang, Keith, you literally built the whole thing. Okay. Yeah, anyway, uh, thank you everybody. Uh, you, uh, yeah, guys, really appreciate putting all your stuff on display from your hometowns and home countries. Oh, by the way, Ken, did you want to do the hot sauce challenge? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay, so we are literally doing a spoonful of Trinidad scorpion sauce. Okay, ready? ready? Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. As I'm exhaling, it's starting to burn more. Mm. My eyes are sweating. Good stuff. Good stuff. It. Good stuff. Trinidad. Stay cool. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh god. 